Next, we will be talking about defense mechanisms. I refer to any maneuver employed by the ego to protect itself against anxiety raised by intolerable impulses, coping strategies which help us reduce anxiety. All defense mechanisms involve some degree of repression of unacceptable impulse into unconsciousness. Hence, repression is considered as a principal defense mechanism. Repression is important component of Freud's topographical model also. Unpleasant experiences are stored deep in the subconscious mind and can't be accessed by the conscious mind. For example, a child suffer abuse by a parent represses the memories and become completely unaware of them as a young adult. There is no consensus among exact number and formal classification of defense mechanisms. But George Valian divided and described defense mechanism into four groups, mature, immature, neurotic, and narcissistic. Mature defense mechanisms include altruism, ascetism, anticipation, humor, sublimation, and separation. Mature defense mechanisms are seen in mature and well-adjusted adults. To start with altruism, it refers to usage of constructive and gratifying service to others. For example, missionaries and social worker who drive gratification by serving the needed and poor may use this defense mechanism. Ascetism in includes eliminating player pleasurable effects of experiences by assigning a moral value to it. Gratification is obtained by avoiding pleasure. For example, nuns and priests, they avoid many pleasurable pleasurable activities and gaining gratification by avoiding the pleasure from the same may be an employing ascetism. Anticipation refers to realistically anticipate and planning for future inner discomfort. Like for example, a student accepting that exam was tough and preparing for the next attempt using anticipation without waiting for his results. Humor as a defense mechanism refers to the use of a word comedy to express unpleasant feelings and inner discomfort. Next, sublimation is channeling the discomfort into a socially acceptable one. For example, like using a punching bag to express anger after getting fired from boss. Separation is postponing of attention from discomfort. Discomfort is acknowledged and minimized. Example of separation is what when we say what happened has happened. Let us see it later. Next is immature defense mechanism, which include acting out, passive aggression, regression, somatization, hypochondriasis. Immature defense mechanisms are used by adolescents and non-psychotic patients. Acting out. It involves dealing with stress by using actions rather than reflection and feelings. Defensive acting out is often associated with bad behaviors like antisocial behavior, bad conduct, when there are underlying emotional conflicts. Next is regression, going back to acting as a child, returning to a behavior pattern characteristic of earlier stage of development because of partial fixation in any of the psychosexual stages of development, regression can occur when an individual is faced with high levels of stress in their life. Passive aggression involves dealing with stress by indirectly unassertively expressing aggression towards others. The person displays an out, outward superficial cooperativeness that masks the underlying resistance, resentment and hostility. This defense may be adaptive in situation where direct, direct and assertive communication is punished. For example, abusive relationship, somatization, Unconscious transformation of unacceptable feelings and emotions into physical symptoms. Neurotic defense mechanisms include repression, displacement, isolation, reaction formation, dissociation, all used by obsessive, compulsive and hysterical patients. Now to begin with displacement. Uh, <clears throat> displacement is the shifting of intended targets, especially when the initial target is threatening. The classical use of displacement in, is in understanding of displaced aggress uh, aggression. An individual is dressed down by the superior at their job. They feel like anger and host hostility toward their superior. They are id, 
driven by the aggressive impulses would like to tear the boss head off the ego being reality based and very much in favor of continued paychecks salary realizes that this is not a good idea and therefore does not move boss head but as person goes back home he still has this aggressive aggressive impulses in his mind but the ego allows for uh, the individual to scream at the spouse since he knew that this will not threaten his job the spouse now angry and upset displays their anger on their children who then becomes angry and kicks their pet dogs a further displacement of anger next defense mechanism is reaction formation involve involves dealing with stress by substituting behavior thought or feelings that are exact opposite of one's own unacceptable thoughts or feelings in short reaction formation means expressing opposite of your inner feeling in your outward behavior as for example person who loves pornography leads a movement to outlaw its sale in the neighborhood second example a woman who loves an unobtainable man and behave as though she hates him dissociation involves dealing with the stress by breaking off part of memory consciousness or perception of self or the environment to avoid the problem situation this defense mechanism is employed in dissociative and convergent disorders narcissistic defense mechanisms are denial distortion projection used by psychotics and children denial as a defense mechanism when people are overwhelmed by by the anxiety present within a situation they can engage an even more severe form of memory repression in denial the individual denies that the threatening event even took place in war for example uh, in war a mother receives word that her son has been killed but she refuses to believe it and still setting the table for him keeping his room and clothes arranged at school a student say seeing a great c next to their name automatically assumes that the professor made a grading error alcoholics and other substance abuser who refuse to admit they have a problem despite being very apparent to everyone around them people engaging in denial can pay a high cost in terms of psychic energy which is used to maintain the denial state excuse me projection involves dealing with stress by falsely attributing your own unacceptable feeling impulses next in defense mechanism is projection projection involves dealing with stress by falsely attributing your own unacceptable feelings impulses or thought to another person for example let's say that you do not like someone your mother and father always told you to treat other people well and to be friendly to everyone these thoughts from your parents become embedded in your super ego you discover that you do not like this person if you allow this thought to consciously surface you will experience more anxiety moral anxiety in terms of guilt feelings because this conscious thoughts goes against the moral prohibition of your super ego so instead of consciously thinking the anxiety provoking thought i do not like this person this defense mechanism allows for non anxiety provoking thought like this person does not like me like me excuse me